What does six million look like? It's hard for our minds to imagine a number so huge, but when commemorating the Holocaust, we need to remember what that number really stands for. The six million stands for the six million souls, people just like you and me, whose lives were brutally cut short simply because they were Jewish. And every single one of those six million people had a story. And now, with anti-Semitism again rising all over the world, those stories are more important than ever. For many years, the only Holocaust story that I knew really well was Anne Frank's story. But all that changed for me back in 2012 when I visited the Terezin ghetto, just an hour outside of Prague. During World War II, Terezin was a ghetto and concentration camp where the Nazis sent countless Jewish artists, intellectuals, musicians, and writers. And that's also where they sent the vast majority of Jews from Czechoslovakia as well. And during my visit to Terezin, I learned the stories of many incredibly gifted and remarkable people that I'd never known, whose stories I'd never heard before. And many of the stories that I learned were those of children and young people. I learned the story of Peter Gintz, an incredibly gifted young boy who founded a secret magazine at Terezin called Vedem. I learned about Hannah Brady, a young girl who arrived at Terezin with her older brother George, and during her time there produced countless drawings and paintings. And I learned the story of Pavel Friedman, a young man who wrote poetry, beautiful and poignant poems, while confined within the ghetto walls. I was so deeply moved by all these stories that I heard, and I knew that I wanted to share them with the world. And so I created a blog called Butterflies in the Ghetto to do just that. And this Holocaust Remembrance Day, I'm inviting you to join me in commemorating the 1.5 million children murdered in the Holocaust. I'm asking you to learn the story of one child who was killed in the Holocaust. Read their story, reflect on their story, say a special prayer for them, and then share their story with others. To help you get started, I've included links to blog posts I wrote about Peter Gins, Hannah Brady, and Pavel Friedman. And after you've read the story of a child who died in the Holocaust, please write their name in the comment section below this video so that other people may see their names. In this way, we can remember the names of these precious children and ensure that they are never forgotten. To Pavel, Hannah, Peter, and all the other children, we remember you. May their memory be a blessing.